Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I teach about Velocity Banking. So I wanted to go over a quick scenario today that is talking about mortgages and the difference between paying interest rates on a mortgage. So if we look at a 4% interest rate and a 21%, I'll bet everybody watching would jump to that 4% rate because that's cheaper, right? That's lower. Lower the better. That's what they teach us, right? Well, it depends on what type of interest you are dealing with. Are you talking about an amortized loan or just simple interest, right? So let's talk about what the difference is with an amortized loan and simple interest. On an amortized loan, you're set up on a schedule. They already have your interest figured out for you. So those payments are divided up over a car payment, student loans, even your mortgage. Divided up over 30 years for a mortgage, right? Maybe 15. And so every payment you make has interest and principal. So with an amortized loan, all of that interest is front loaded. It is pushed to the front. So in that four to seven year period that you first get your mortgage, guess what? You're paying most of the interest. They have that set up that way for a reason. But what if I told you there's another way to work yourself around that interest? What if I told you that we can bank like the rich people bank? And let's show you how. So if you have the 4% on your mortgage, and let's say this is a $250,000 loan. The payment is going to be about $1,514.95. And that is only for your mortgage payment. That does not include your escrow account, all right? So your first payment of $1,514.95 will have interest of $833.33 and $681.62 is all that's going towards your principal. So see how you're paying a lot of interest in that very first payment? Well, your first year of principal is gonna be $8,331.04, but your first year of interest is gonna be $9,848.37 interest alone. So when you're figuring the 4%, again, in your mind, you're thinking, well, it's the cheaper interest, I'll go that way. But what if we had a 21% line of credit? But what if you took that times the first four years, and you can look it up on your Carl's Mortgage Calculator. It's a wonderful app you can download that will give you the mortgage rates, let you enter in everything so you'll know what you will be paying on your mortgage payments. But let's say you did that and you got the total for four years is going to be 35,416.56 will go towards your principal in the first four years and $37,301.08 is going to be going towards the interest in four years, okay? That will bring your balance down to $214,583.43. So your mortgage balance will be $214,583 after four years of payments. What if we took just the four years, bringing it down to the $214,583 would be $27,085.53. Let's just take the first four years you're going to pay down your principal $27,085.53. But what if starting this month, and let's say that this mortgage started in January of 2023, but what if you decided, I am going to pay down that first four years on a 21% line of credit. Let's see what that would do to your interest charges. Now remember, you're at $214,583. You've made four years of payments at $1,514.95. You have paid $37,301.08 in interest. But we decided to take $27,085.53 and get it to this $214,583 balance. What happens? Well, in the first year, 
you're going to pay $467.40 in the first month in interest. What were you paying over here? $833.33 in your first month of interest, right? But let's just go on. Let's act like that you kept this $27,085 balance for the entire 12 months. What would you pay? $5,708.80. What were you going to pay for the first year over here? $9,848.37. Let's go back to the 21%. $5,608.80. Well, you know what? You're never going to even pay the 5608 if you do it on the 21% line of credit because you have a $1,000 cash flow. See this? So your income would go into this line of credit and your expenses would come out. And the most that you would pay of the 467.40 is in your first month. You might pay that much but every month that's going to go down. So your first year total interest would be $3,434.52 compared to $9,848. Quite a difference, isn't it? Low interest rate, high interest rate they taught us. Really? Let's keep going. In your second year, you might pay $2,917.44. This would be paid off in 30 months, and then you could chunk it again and do this. Where's that bringing your balance? You paid this in four years, and you're just to here. You paid this in one day, and you came down not only to this balance, but you saved this much interest. Look at the interest difference. You tell me, is 4% cheaper? or is 21% cheaper? What did they tell you? If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd be glad to help you any way possible. I want to say thank you to the people that are donating to this channel. Thank you for using the fetch link below. All you do is take a picture of your receipt. You get points and I get points and I appreciate that so much. And I don't want you to forget if you're looking for passive income, Alex Altbaron's link is below for dream clients. He does wonderful work when it comes to coaching for starting business or for opening stores. If you need to contact me, I have links below for telephone calls for whiteboards of your own. I would be glad to help you any way possible. Thank you and have a terrific week.